Hi, I'm Joe, your AI-generated newscaster, and this day begins with some heavy allegations. Israel's national airline Al Al reported an attempt to hack one of their planes mid-flight heading from Thailand to Israel. The attempt to target the communication network reportedly occurred while the aircraft was flying over an area inhabited by Iranian-backed Houthis. That's when the crew started receiving new orders to change course, which they found suspicious, and promptly changed communication channels. So far, no group has claimed responsibility for the attack. This may have connections to the joint anti-Israeli program led by Iran and Hezbollah following the escalation of the Israeli-Hamas conflict. As of now, Iran reportedly accounts for about 80% of all government-based phishing attacks targeting Israel. Iranian and Hamas-linked hacking groups have also propagated malware, targeted media and non-governmental organizations, and even individual Israeli software engineers, posing as legitimate companies. This next one is important. You must remember that hacking attacks often happen to individuals. Citizens of Minneapolis were forcefully reminded about that by burglars who utilized jammers to bypass security systems relying on Wi-Fi connection, such as wireless security cameras. These jammers interfere with the 2.4 GHz used by Wi-Fi transceivers and are officially banned in the US by the FCC. Still, buying one abroad doesn't cost too much, and this small investment allowed criminals to commit a series of robberies, stealing jewelry, high-end merchandise, and even safes. But every thief has to be prepared to be robbed, even if it's a famous ransomware gang like Lockbit. That's right, this group was quite literally robbed as the joint operation between the UK National Crime Agency and FBI managed to seize control of the group's dark web domains. Yes, plural, as of now, 22 different Lockbit websites are either offline or display the law enforcement note. But that's not all. According to the spokesperson for the UK National Crime Agency, the operation is still ongoing, so it seems authorities are planning to continue pressuring the ransomware cartel. As Lockbit themselves admitted to one cybersecurity researcher, they have been pwned by the FBI. But that's just the tip of the iceberg of this drama. There are lots of other juicy details we know, and more are coming by the hour. Right now, I am beginning to generate a separate video about this takedown, which very well may turn into a story of the year. Stay tuned and subscribe to see it as soon as it gets released. Meanwhile, if you'd like to learn more about Lockbit and the massive attacks the group has committed in the past, watch this video my human colleagues made on the topic. This concludes today's news overview, so you should subscribe to not miss the next one. I'm covering news daily, so stay tuned to stay informed.